what it do what it do what it do youtube this your boy rich rich go back at it again with another video and today's another month day today's a beautiful day man we're on the way to bmw dealership you know what i'm saying we gotta pull up to that thing man it's gonna be the first time we pull up together you feel me so we're gonna go pull up to the dealership so there's some things in my mind you know what i'm saying you know i want the supercar next right but the certain supercar that i want it's kind of difficult to get it financed you know what i'm saying so what i gotta do is i gotta have a little bit more cheese to go get that thing you know what i'm saying so i'm most likely gonna get i'm gonna try to shoot for next year like i said in the videos y'all seen before but um right now i have a muscle car which is american i have a jdm car which is a japanese car so now it's time for me to think about getting a euro car you know what i'm saying i'd rather get a euro car so therefore i have three types of cars i have the american car i have a euro car and i have my jdm car and then i'll be solidified with three and then work on my dream car the supercar you know what i'm saying so i think that would be epic just to have three of those in my chamber you know what i'm saying my car collection so anyways i'm not buying a car today but at the end of the day we're gonna go see what's out there so today we're gonna look at bmw man and i'm not really a bmw person to be honest with you i'm not really a, a m guy but for that last euro car meet it's been growing on me so i'm really interested in a new bmw m's the new m is fucking amazing the new m3 and the m4s those are beautiful cars they are pricey but you know what i'm saying we're gonna work our magic and see what we can do but we're gonna go to the dealership and just check them out see how they uh are in person man i, I never i mean i did see it on the road but i never just fully sat there and really inspect the car and just really look at it you know what i'm saying so we're gonna do that tonight or we're gonna do it today we're gonna check the car out see how it is and then you know the next car dealership we're gonna go check out we're just gonna check some cars out we're gonna see the potential one and go down in the comments and let me know if you're feeling any one of these cars but today we're gonna go to bmw so i like the m's so the main european cars i'm looking at or interested in is bmw m's definitely love what they offer but then at the same time my number one dream car coupe my favorite coupe car of all time is crazy it's an audi tt rs i don't like the old models the old models are not the cutest to me not the greatest but the new ones from 2020 well from 20 to me 2017 and up is like the best looking um audi tts but you know me i can't do that baby version i gotta do the rs so if i can't afford the higher trim level that means i can't afford the car and that means i gotta go back to the drawing board and that means i gotta go stack up my money a little bit more and build the credit up a little bit more and then we're gonna be in the same situation but no we're gonna be in a better situation you know what i'm saying so that's what we're gonna do and that's how i'm gonna do it you feel me so audi tt is one that i'm thinking about considering i definitely um filling these um bmw m's a little bit more so i'm gonna check it out then another option i was thinking about it's JDM, but it is, it is your own, the um, Supras. I got, I got a plug on Supras, so I, I can, you know what I'm saying, rock with the Supras. Um, or even a Mercedes, you know what I'm saying? We just ain't gonna know, we just gotta see. But um, anyways, man, let's just go to this dealership and let's see what's up there, man. I just wanna take y'all on a ride. Just let's just go look at them, you see? And um, go from there, let's go. All right, y'all, so we finally made it to the dealership. There's a nice ass car here that I'm interested in. This is the M4. Oh my God, beast. So I'm gonna show you guys how this car looks. Oh man, look at this thing. Oh my God, oh my gosh. that thing is nice. Look at that thing, man, that's a beautiful, beautiful M4 competition. Oh man, let's see how this is. Carbon fiber roof. Oh, man. So much carbon fiber in these Oh cars. my gosh. Yeah. Oh man, this is beautiful. I'm gonna sport up the entire car so you're gonna feel it being a little tight. Oh yes, all good. Ooh. All carbon fiber like interior, carbon fiber on your steering wheel, carbon fiber paddle shifters that fold all the way down below so these are like your full-size racing paddle shifters so how you're racing you're good okay no matter how you hold the car you can adjust the throttle response here in fact v meter control okay 
you can see how your you like how your tires are warming up. Okay. Let's see if we can get that to pull up. So you'll find out what your tire pressure is, your PSI, okay. the, the temperature, all of it can be because this is a track ready car. I'm saying that's what I want. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I want. And it'll show you your pound per foot torque and your horsepower performance all right here on okay. the dash. But for right now, I'm just gonna make sure I get in the right gear. Right, right, right. right. There we go. Oh, man. Uh, turn up the throttle response. So as you drive, it'll hold those gears a little bit longer. Okay. That is fully adjustable as well. Oh, Park wow. is this guy here, but everything else is from there. Oh, look at that. They got the M logo on that thing. M logo there. Wow. And I'm a carbon junkie, so <laughs> I, I love the carbon. And this bucket seats too? Yeah, so these are these oh, M Sport seats on M4. will light up right oh, there. Oh my gosh. This is, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, the M is what I need. This is a ridiculous car, but it's a ton of fun. Oh, my gosh. Around. oh yeah, this is a beautiful car, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. A lot of my subscribers have been telling me to buy an M. <laughs> you know, you either buy the M3, M4s, or people look at the M2s as the true M cars. Okay, okay. But there's no wrong answer. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm down for any of them. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> but this one is hard, man. I love this one. This is beautiful. I love like, the fit and finish on the new AMs. Wow. Just, I mean, you put it next to like that little blue M440 right there, and this just smokes it. It does. Time. It does. And what is that? That's an M2? That's, oh, that's actually a... a 430 convertible. It has the same new front fascia. Okay. Uh, you can tell it's it's nice, but it's still a little... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like say I have this already, how do I have this set up? Like all M down, right? Okay. At the moment. And that's your new M display right there. Oh shit. Oh wow. Yeah, you wow. see that quite like. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold this down and this will lock into that M1 button. Okay. So now every time I hit one, M1, it puts you all in sport. Oh. You turn it off as well. So, see so you like your comfort, but you still want the engine to feel right, sporty right. and the chassis to feel a little sporty. You can okay. actually save that as your M2. Oh, shit. You can mix and match, make it how you like it. And what is Sport Plus? So, Sport Plus disables your electronic stability control. Mm. It's essentially that, that, that. Okay. And then gotcha. Some. Gotcha. So, as you're driving, you'll put it into drive. As long as you're in D1, if you push D1. it over to the right again, that'll put you in your manual, manual. shift gear. Manual, okay. But that'll push it back over. That'll do it one more time. Right. Okay. Very good. There's your park button. Essentially, no more shifting it into park. Okay. That's your emergency brake. And then we can even set up the interior LEDs in this car. Wow. Wow. Let's see. Let's set this up real fast. Ooh. And the date and time's automatically going to update. Personal system. I like the Hey BMW voice control. Yeah. It's not for everybody. I like that. But I'll show you that in a minute. We go back to the interior lighting control. Yeah. So on this green car, you could have the classic BMW bronze okay. LEDs. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I like that. I like but that. But you can actually change it to any number of colors. So if you like the green all the way throughout for all matchy matchy, that's fine. Wow. You want to go for a little lilac on the inside for a little bit of pop. Oh, yeah. The blue is always a personal favorite, but we're going to leave the bronze for right now. But I am going to turn it up. So if you end up going to a place where it's dark, turn you'll those. See that. You'll, you'll see it at night because it'll glow bronze oh, my inside. Gosh. But I've set it up, and you have microphones above your head and mine. Oh, wow. So you can say, hey, BMW, find me a Starbucks in Lafayette. Oh, wow. Line four. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Quick, easy, conversational, responsive. What? What? On top of the fact that you got this great Car Harman Kardon 3D surround sound, I'm going to cancel that out real fast. That way it doesn't have you on that drive. But you can even say simple things like, hey BMW, I'm cold. What? Just some things to think about, cut and finish things. But the way BMW's done their new iDrive 7 technology, the small fit and finish things like being able to mix and match your screens, wow. adjust the size of your widgets that you have built in here, right. if there's certain things that you like or have to have on your home screen, um, all fully adjustable. You can create up to 10 pages, but you have your full M setup page. So if you're always shifting between your M setup, okay. pop that on and you can always tweak everything, but okay. go ahead and throw you into M1. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Kind of all set to roll. Oh, wow. It's the wow. beast of a car. This is a monster. This, the details. The detail. I, that's then the speak. Man, what? This, yeah, this is a beautiful. Man. And you got your wireless charging pad here for your phone. So you don't oh, have to worry wow. about being without a charge. I mean, wireless Apple CarPlay, you're going to find that out there quite a bit. Right. One of my favorite things is the kind of a cool little whatever, right? It's a, this is a fun car. We're going to just drive it around for just a second. Oh, shoot. Sure. What the hell? That's the crazy. The seatbelt just it tightens right up. Ew, wow. So check this out, though. I mean, it's weird when your car is a little smarter than you're ready for. So check this. Let's find a part of this one. So, wow, this is insane. You're just trying to, you're driving around like a Norsham parking lot. You want to find yourself a place to park and chill. You're going to hit your park button. You're going to get your top view camera system. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Let's try this again. Hit my park camera button. Come on, man. There we go. Oh, wow. So as I'm driving, you're going to see a parking spot obviously open up. Right. Come on now. Don't make me look stupid. There it is. What? So I'm gonna hit my parking spot. No way. Take hands off steering wheel and release brake. No way. What the? F a what the? Car. <laughs> what the? Thing. Are you kidding me? So it's, oh you know, my! It realized that it didn't have the best angle, so it's gonna go ahead and readjust. Oh so. my god! Oh my! Oh my effing guy! Oh. That's gonna line it up. Oh, and and what the? Bro, what? Oh no! What the fuck is going on? What? It's actually readjusting based what? on the car. I feel it. I'm, what? I haven't touched anything. In. What? It's gonna put you back in the park. Oh my gosh, bro! Oh my! I ain't never seen that. <laughs> I ain't never. What? Yeah. And so it does that. What? Does the, it all on its own? And it. What? All did it on its own. In fact, it's got a autonomous parking and a backup assistant. So oh, man. it'll like if, say you have a friend who has like one of those long, long driveways. Okay. This car will actually follow the route that you went in all the way out. So it'll follow that same route. So you can so you don't have to worry about like hitting like hedges or any of that kind of stuff. Oh wow. So I mean, yeah, that kind of technology is cool. You may or may not ever use that. But it still it's just the fact that it's there. Yeah, and you'll it'll parallel park itself. It can at least. Alright, we'll pull this back up to your car. Oh, yeah, no I just problem. thought that was worthwhile. Oh, so is, that, never... is that thing just on this particular model or is it? It's on available on other on other cars as well. So That's... that technology is Look, also this... available on like a it's just parking. Xbox. He's not touching the screen. He's parking the car. Look at this. <laughs> He's not even touching Bro, what? I'm sold, man. I'm sold. <laughs> well, you haven't driven it yet, so we gotta have you give you a little time behind the wheel, get you some time oh, driving. Oh my gosh. I am so like <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Y'all been telling me to get an M. <laughs> Y'all been telling me to get an M. And I'm not going to lie. I wasn't the biggest M fan, but then I started seeing these. And I was like, oh, wow. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. Yeah, you Just park this. In between <laughs> that car and my car. <laughs> Insane. I, I. Wow. 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 And I, I'm a carbon junkie. And it got carbon air. All over the place. Oh my gosh, look at the interior. <laughs> Damn, yeah. This M4. So, what's the, what's the difference between like an M3 and an M4? So, two door, M4 is going to be your two door coupe version mm -hmm. of the M3. M3 is your four door sedan, sports sedan. Um, same transmission. Lines are going to be a bit different, but the overall front fascia is going to be the same. Um, the technology is going to be the same. Um, yeah, I mean, body, it's, 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 it's not even the bigger body. It's really just the two-door coupe versus a three-door sedan. Or four, oh. I'm sorry, four-door sedan. So the three and the four built on the same platform as is the X3, X4s. The even numbers in BMW usually are your coupe versions. Overall, sometimes you find that the fit and finish on the coupe versions are a little bit higher end. It's a little bit nicer, a little bit more right, premium. Right, but right. in this M4 and M3, there's really not much more. There's really nowhere to go. It just okay. goes... You're already there, okay. unless you're getting like a CS or like a you know like a GT3. Um, you know these these guys are pretty much you know like the top of the line for for now. Right. They're right. going to be coming out with an all-wheel drive version of this car, but oh, no. the people who drive these cars and really feel this car 
a lot of people want that that rear wheel drive for that feel when you just feel the back end like kick out just a little bit yeah. and then grabs right back in the same way with your 5.0 it's gonna have that kind of beastie feel that kind oh of angry feel but in an automatic it's got better shift points quicker transmission right. but still um, this is, yeah this is insane yeah. it's a fun fun car this is a no joke uh, we we're just glad to have one back in back in and available. The last oh ones that we've God. had have all gone pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is this is a beautiful car, man. Like, I'm mind blown right now just for that little feature and <laughs> the little parking. The parking stuff's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is 90 day from the previous model, right? So or, yeah, you're up 503 horse and a quicker transmission compared to the old. M4, the last generation of M4s, uh, we're last year actually, not even that far away, it was 2020s, but the M3s haven't been out since 2018, okay. and those were 450 horse, so that you're feeling like significant boost in horsepower. Wow. Whereas the old M3s, M4s used to compete with like an Audi RS5, or the Mercedes-Benz C63, C63S, uh, still have an inline six power plant in this car, as opposed to like the V8 you'll find in the Mercedes, or the V6s that you're gonna find from, from Audi, mm -hmm. you find a more horse, you find a little bit more horsepower, it's not always about the horsepower, and these cars really feel the torque and that kind of like that that visceral feel when you get behind the wheel and just the way the front wheels really hold the road wow. and the balance of this car. That inline six provides a really dynamic balance. The front end doesn't feel like it has to sit too far down where you get those big engines, right. holds right. the front end too far down and you don't feel the back end spin out too, too much. You'll feel a little bit of kick out, but once uh, those wheels warm up and grab the road, nothing's gonna catch it. I mean, it's just a nasty car. I mean, you're looking, there are cars out there that are faster. But you get, still, it's but, just, it's just, man. But for what you get for the size, mm -hmm. for an everyday, perform, like high-end performance sports right, car, right. this can be a daily driver and still, I mean, it's gonna wow, and it's gonna piss off your neighbors. So. Oh yeah, I love that. They're already pissed <laughs> off with me. <laughs> Shoot, I can't get mad about that. Right. But you'll, but you will not, you will not be disappointed in a car like this. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. So this, so this one and that blue one's the same thing. Uh, that blue one was the M440. So it has the last generation M3 engine in it, 383 horsepower in that blue one. Uh, this one you're getting 503. So it's definitely a significant jump. Jump. Yeah. Wow. So. Those were like a tuned down straight six. This has got the tuned up straight six and then some. So. And is it, is it a big dip price difference between these two? Yeah, I think you're probably somewhere around 80 to 90K in a car like this, especially in the competitions. Those ones, if you're getting a two-door coupe, you're probably sitting somewhere in the low to mid 60s. You get a fairly well-equipped one up in the high 60s. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, you can get an M440 and a convertible as well that can get you up in the mid to high 70s as well. Oh, wow. So I would look at that uh, too. This, uh, this the M440. Yeah, this, this now the current M440s are okay. quick. Okay. All good. They have they come right now uh, standard all wheel drive, where this is going to be rear wheel drive. Okay. It's a little bit of a different feel. Okay. But you know, it's a different kind of car. It's a different yeah. feel altogether. I feel like the fit and finish. If you like the carbon fiber, if you like these M bikes, yeah, I do. like this. <laughs> I do. There's nothing going to be like this. You're going to find there's going to be for every you know 30, 50 of those M440s, you get like one M4. Stuff like that. So the rarity, the gotcha. more like, yeah, this, those are, I'll, be, I'll show you both, whatever works right, best right, for you, right. but the, like, even the sport displays, those little, little minor details, the M badging on here, you're not going to find it on an M440. They're still a great car. I think they're one of the nicest cars to drive. I love the right, two right. more coupes. But it's just different level it's top a tier different, right here. It's a different yeah. tier. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, I mean, and it's really what it comes down to on these kind of cars. I mean, everything from the stitching on your seatbelt to the M badge stitching, it's here on the interior, sit and finish pieces. It's the details. Yeah. The details that make, yeah. the, make everything go. Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful, man. Yeah. yeah, I like this. This is hard, man. I like this. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> I like this one. This y'all. So right now we're ready. Um, giving him the paper, giving him my car insurance and my license plate. I mean, my ID. But anyways, that car is amazing. I think the M is uh, superior. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, like I said, I told you guys, I'm not really a, an M person, but I'm definitely digging um, the car. So, I think that's, I think that's, I think this is definitely the, the car. Um, I wanted a European car, because we got JDM, we got muscle. So I think it's time for us to, I think this one's just top, top, top level. 
I think so. So much hard decisions, man. Oh, but it has the classic kind of kidneys. Oh. As opposed to that 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 aggressive big full size grill. Oh. So, Damn, I like I like that. Like yeah, that. Good, good, good. I just want you to be aware of you know show you everything. Right, right, right. Not everybody's in the, the four doors either, you know. I like yeah, I'm, I like coupes. I like I'm a coupe guy. That's a nice one though. I just want to make sure that I'm putting you in the right car. All right, you guys got the key. I'm gonna test drive this car. Man, I'm really feeling this um, M4 right here. It's a fucking beautiful car. It's, man, this is a beautiful car. It's time to drive the car. All right, y'all. So I'm in an M4 right now. Oh my gosh, let's see this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm in an M. Oh my God, I'm in an M4, baby. OMG. Whew. Are you kidding me? Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, y'all. M4 carbon deck out. Oh my gosh. Hey, y'all. This car is phenomenal, man. I I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm definitely rocking with the m4 gang right now um it, it feels amazing like it feels amazing um we're gonna do like a little circle i ain't gonna drive too far but um man this car is insane i think that um we might have to man i think i gotta shoot my shot man y'all let me know in the comments let me know but i think honestly this this car is fucking insane it's 200 on the dash it feels insane it feels light. I'm enjoying the ride, man. Like, I'm really enjoying this ride. This will be... <sighs> Y'all, I don't know what to do, man. This M4 is insane. It's a two-door coupe. I'd rather two-door I mean, I'd rather a uh, two-door coupe than a four-door. But, I mean, whatever it is, I mean, I do need a bigger car too at the same time. So, but right now, I'm really feeling this M4. I want to give a special shout-out to Concord BMW. Um... Damn, this car drives insane, bro. Like, just the feeling, it just feels, like he said, it's way lighter. It's a big difference driving this and then driving my, uh, my manual Mustang. So, it, oh my gosh, bro. Let's see, we're gonna keep the mouths a little low on here. But, the feel of this car, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. On a on the on the uh, front window, you can see the miles per hour. Oh my gosh, man! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Two hundred on the dash, y'all. If it ain't two hundred on the dash, you ain't doing it right. Damn, man! This car drives insane. Power shift is all carbon. Everything is carbon out on this car, man. Sheesh! Oh my gosh! Yeah. I don't know, y'all. This is hard. But I think I'm gonna have to get this M4. M4 is at a nice price, you know what I'm saying? I would have to lease it for sure. You know what I'm saying? I think this is it, bro. 200 on the dash, man. We we racing supercars. This is damn near a supercar to me. Shit, drives amazing, man. Check out the green, man. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Look at that. Look at that green. Is the green crazy? What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm feeling like a little kid in this car. I actually kind of pulled, pulled it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It drives amazing. I'm gonna drive back to the dealership. I ain't trying to drive too much, I'm trying to reserve the miles on the car. But uh, this car is insane. Um, look at the seats. Look at the seat, man. And this car lit, lights up as well. So I'm real, I, I'm just like mind blown that I'm in here. This one is the M4 competition dig competition not that base shit competition top top of the line it's a different top tier on this one so i'm enjoying this ride man and i hope you guys enjoying this man 
Um, you know, I'm out here just trying to chase my dreams, out here trying to perfect the dream, out here trying to live my best life. Out here trying to just enjoy um, believing everything into existence, speaking things into existence. You gotta speak things into existence. If you ain't doing it, you ain't doing something right. But that's how we do it, man. Driving this car, man. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot, man. Oh my gosh, this is Hey, I'm not gonna lie though. This shit drive a little hard though. This thing drive like a beast. I ain't gonna lie though. This might feel a little better than the Mustang. I ain't gonna lie though, no cap. This shit is freaking phenomenal car, man. The, the, the carbon fiber in the car, just the steering wheel. Let me show y'all the steering wheel one more time. Look at this, steering wheel. Got the carbon um, power shifters, got the M. Bro, I, competition. It's the M4, so this is like the top, top of the line, top 20 on a dash, touch screen. This car does parking by itself. It does driving by itself. It's insane, man. This shit is crazy. Look at that thing, man. I feel like I'm in a supercar, bro. It just feels so different than, oh my gosh, it just feels so different. So driving this car feels so good. It feels amazing. I'm enjoying this ride, man. Hello. And that was the more popular one because yeah. Sao Paulo yells. I like that. Old. That's um, but yeah.